Yo, check one, two. I want to flick my phone because it might end the recording. Craig, give me your toy, boy. <sighs> How's your guys' day going? It's Sunday right now. It's my day off. And I'm going back to school tomorrow. What's up? And it's hot as fuck. I was going to stay inside, but he really wanted to play outside. So here's me being a a good co-dog parent owner and filming it so I get something out of this. (laughs) I'm joking, but yes, I am filming it. Gives me more of an incentive to come outside and play with him. Going back to school tomorrow. It's like, it's actual in-person school though. I haven't had in-person school since my junior year. It's the beginning of my junior year. For It's pretty surreal. For like two and a half years. Oh, wait. Hold up. I think two and a half, maybe three. All of my schooling has been online. And yeah, it's just kind of weird to be back in the classroom and shit. Especially now it's a little bit different when I have like work and other things. And like filming, other things to worry about. It's a little bit different. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think it'll be cool. I I, I completely forgot. I have to like pack a backpack and notebooks and folder. I was just like, oh yeah, school's starting again. But I completely forgot I actually have to kind of be prepared. And actually put effort in this time around. But yeah. I don't know, lately, I've just been kind of thinking about um, just, like, my future on YouTube. I haven't really been doing it for that long, but I was watching this anime. It's called Smile Down the Runway. It's about high fashion and a model trying to make it and a designer trying to make it. And, dude, you just see, like, their genuine, like, passion for it. They're working countless hours doing it. And just really putting in that work, you feel me? And I was thinking, and I was like, dude, like, I like YouTube, and I like making films and stuff, but do I love it? I don't know. I don't know if it takes time to love something, but... Or love an aspect of it. But right now, I just know that I really like it. But I don't know if I love it. I haven't found myself doing anything to sacrifice to make sure I succeed in YouTube. When when I used to, some of you guys know, I was playing games competitively before. Um, when I used to do that, I would literally play for 20 plus hours a day. And, and uh, what's it called? I'd play for like 20, like not 20 hours, like 10 plus hours a day, like every day for two, three years. Craig, come here. Craig, you're out of the shot. Come back here. And I'd play that every day for like two, two, three years for 10 plus hours a day. I'd get off of school. I'd play until I had to go to sleep. And I would just sacrifice everything. It was like I was just addicted. It was like the only thing I would think about all day. When I was at lunch, I'd be watching YouTube videos on, um, on, on, Fortnite and like the in like competitive games and they'd be VOD reviewing and stuff just 24 7 is all I could think about uh when I was in the car rides with my mom I'm just watching Fortnite stuff all that shit and it was like literally my life and for YouTube I'm just like I don't know I don't know if that's the case you know what I'm saying because like I like it but I don't think about content creation every minute and hour of every day like it's not, I want, I, I, it sounds weird, but I want to have like an, a, an unhealthy obsession to the point where I like what I'm doing so much that it's like messing up other stuff in my life. And this is not really doing that. And yeah, and it's just making me like have some, I guess you could say, second thoughts about things. Cause I don't want to waste my time doing things I don't love. And maybe it's because I'm veering towards the side of, like, actual filmmaking, and I don't know if I really like it. I mean, granted, I haven't really made my first, like, film yet with stills and all that stuff like that. But 
whenever I think about making it and stuff, it just it doesn't entice me. It doesn't doesn't motivate me. Like I, I write down a whole script and everything I get. I get myself inspired, and then when it's time to create it, I don't even have that passion anymore. And even and when I'm not working on it, I'm not thinking of new ideas for it. I'm only thinking of ideas when I make myself do it. I'm just like I think that's the product of really liking something and not loving it, or just liking it. I mean, I've only I don't know if it's necessarily YouTube, but I don't think I love YouTube or love filmmaking. I think I like YouTube a lot, and I like the lifestyle that successful YouTubers are provided. And I don't think I'll ever stop YouTube, but I don't I don't seem to have that drive that I like love it. And there is, as of right now, I don't find anything that kind of, you know, gives me that drive. It's just like, I, I like, it's just right now, like in my life, I've been able to do things that I considered like loving. Like when I was growing up, I did basketball and then I did uh, gaming and both of those things I, I loved. And now it's like, and I'm usually a one track person right, when I have that thing, but like now it's like, it's weird because if I'm not doing YouTube or any type of filmmaking or anything, then then I'm not doing anything right towards my goals and future in in anything. Right. And I'm just trying. I'm in that moment where I'm like, I'm just trying to figure out what what I love and what I love. Like when I figure that out, I still want to like make content on YouTube about it. So I don't think I'll ever stop my YouTube content, but I don't think YouTube is like my main thing that I love. This could be like a fleeting moment thing. This is just kind of how I understand how like passion and loving something works right now. You know, it might change though, you never know. It's hot, huh, Curry? Dude, this guy's just sitting in the shade because how fucking hot it is, bro. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't. Nope, 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 nope. No, he doesn't care. But yeah, that's just kind of how I view my current area right now. And I don't really know what I love. Like, it, it would be easy for me to go back to, like, gaming and stuff and then, like, doing that. But I feel like I don't know if I even have that passion for it anymore. Because I want to be able to do something I know I can make a career out of. Like, I love it and I can make a career out of it and then be successful. Because one thing I also have kind of recently just admitted to myself is I want to be in like the spotlight like a public figure doing what I love and I kind of just have to figure out what that means right that's one thing I think that's one reason I was attracted to YouTube and everything just social getting that attention from people I think that's something I realized and I think that's what drove me to be so attracted to it and then once I started doing it and then once I started realizing like how, how the, it was, it wasn't gonna, getting attention from the people around me because of what I'm doing isn't going to get me far. Then I was like, okay, what do I love about this? And I couldn't think of it. I don't love, I don't really, the editing process I like, I like filming. I like putting the product, the product out, but I don't really like love anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't think I love anything about it, but I don't think I love anything about it. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to think of the things I love. Like, there's no process where I'm just like, oh yeah, dude, this is this is this is the shit right here. Just kind of do things because I like doing them, but I I just want to love doing it. Like where I can just like not stop. It's all I think about. Like it's what drives me. All right, Kareem, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. It's time for you to keep moving, boy. Oh my god, dude. He just keeps on running to different shade spots. Dude, drop drop the toy. You gonna run in the sun, boy. That's why I'm out here. Come on. Yeah, but, um... What was I talking about? Loving things. Yeah, no, in my life, like... I usually don't have, like, crazy... Like, I usually never had to find something I loved, you know what I'm saying? Like, it usually just, like, happened. My interest, my interest would just, I don't know, it was just natural. Like, it would just line up. 
oh, basketball's done, you're injured, you can't play anymore. Okay, something else is gonna happen. Oh shit, you fell in love with this game. Oh shit, you're competing. Oh shit, you're doing well. Okay, you love this. And then, yeah, it's just kind of how it worked. Even before that, before basketball, I liked like math a lot. And that was something I really liked. And then, yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of how it was. Like, I don't, and the thing is, like, I could tell that I loved it because I really don't regret any part of doing it for playing Fortnite three years for 15 hours a day and, like, kind of, like, not really hanging out with people and stuff. I don't regret that at all. Not even in the slightest. I re the only things I regret are what I could have done to actually make it, you know, my career and, like, succeed. Like, the... That's what I regret. I regret my discipline. Or not even my discipline, just my, my, I was very gullible. I would, like, if somebody said something was wrong, I would change everything I'm doing and just change it. Or it, it was just my ability to not be, you know, make mature decisions. But it wasn't ever, like, regretting, you know, spending my time doing it. Same goes for basketball. I never regretted like working hard, playing it, just playing a lot of my childhood doing it. It was just like my work ethic, you know what I'm saying? Or just like the shortcuts I would take, the excuses, things like that. But at the end of the day, I always loved it. It was like always on my mind, 35, eight, just constantly with camera stuff and everything and filmmaking. I was just like, I'm kind of repeating myself, but you know, I just haven't really found that, that good little medium or like that part of it that I like so much. But at the end of the day, like a lot of filmmakers, they'll be like, oh yeah, um, I created like my first successful film. And uh, after the fact, it felt great. Oh, it's ready? Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna go inside, but uh, or they're like after the fact, it felt great. But yeah, I don't know. I th Maybe I just need to put more effort in.